Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, coming together as God's family, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light and hope to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, to this day, Whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over the hearts of the children of Israel. But whenever a person turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. All of us, gazing with unveiled face on the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory as from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Therefore, since we have this ministry, through the mercy shown us, we are not discouraged. And even though our gospel is veiled, it is veiled for those who are perishing, in whose case the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so that they may not see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your slaves, for the sake of Jesus. For God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has shone in our hearts 
to bring to light the knowledge of the glory of God on the face of Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Please stand. Your teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, Whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Racha, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, You fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, Leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother. And then come and offer your gifts. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge. And the judge will hand you over to the guard. And you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our Lord is a very demanding Lord. For him, it is not enough that we do not kill. And hopefully, among us here inside the cathedral, no one has killed anybody. Hopefully. For the Lord, it is not enough that we do not kill. He demands more. And that is we should not harbor anger in our hearts. We should not harbor anger in our hearts. And I'm sure many of us here inside the cathedral has done so. 
may galit tayo sa ating puso. Bakit? Why is the Lord so concerned about harboring anger in our hearts? Well, for one thing, killing is rooted on anger most of the time. Kung ang damo ang pagpatay, ang ugat ng damo ay ang galit. Kaya kapag pinuputol ninyo ang damo, hindi nyo lamang ito ginugupitan dahil alam nyo tutubo ito ili sapagkat buhay pa ang ugat. Binubunot ninyo ang damo upang matangay pati ang ugat. Sapagkat kung hindi, tutubo at tutubo ang damo. Ganon din, if we humble, harbor anger in our hearts, if we entertain anger in our hearts, this may lead to harming other people. That's why I said at the beginning, the Lord demands more from us. It is not enough that we do not kill. It is also necessary that we do not hunger, uh, uh, harbor anger in our hearts. The second reason is this. Why does the Lord not want us to be harboring anger in our hearts? Well, because it is ourselves that we are punishing by harboring anger. Hindi ba? Kapag may galit ka sa puso mo, kapag meron kang dinadalang galit sa iyong kalooban, ikaw ang hindi makakain. Ikaw ang hindi makatulog. Hindi makakain, hindi makatulog, tagyawat sa ilong, dumarami. No? Di ba? Puso mo ang nagpapalpitate. Blood pressure mo ang tumataas. Bakit mo parurusahan ang sarili mo? Yung, yung object of your anger, ayun, tulog na tulog. Ang sarap ng, pagka, ng, ng kain. Pero ikaw, ikaw na merong ganit sa puso mo, ikaw ang nahihirapan. Kaya, the Lord does not want us to be angry harboring anger. The third is this. Why does the Lord not want us to harbor anger? Because it destroys relationship. It destroys relationship. Couples getting separated. Parents becoming distant from their children and vice versa. Friends, relationship is broken. Why? Because there is anger in our hearts. And so, what is the re re uh, re uh, solution being offered by the Lord? Reconciliation. Dialogue. Wag mong kimkimin ang galit mo sa puso. Kausapin mo yung dahilan ng yung galit. Pag-usapan ninyo. Magkasundo kayo. Walang bagay na hindi makakamit sa maayos na pag-uusap. If everything... No, if every conflict is resolved by by fire, by by war, no. Sabi nga eh, kung ang lahat ay dadaanin sa galit, mata sa mata, ngipin sa ngipin, we will all end up blind and toothless. The Lord knows that. That is why He demands more from His disciples. Be reconciled with one another. But does it mean that we should not get angry? We should. 
We should. May mga bagay na, may mga pagkakataon na dapat tayo magalit. Dapat tayo magalit kapag may masamang nangyayari sa ating paligid. Hindi pwedeng magsawalang kibo tayo. Ninanakawang ka na eh. No? Nakangiti ka pa. But that anger must lead to uh, something better. Not to something harmful. Suriin natin ang ating mga sarili, mga kapatid. At this point, let us ask ourselves, what kind of anger am I harboring in my heart? Is it an anger that destroys, that harms, or is it a righteous anger? If it is a harmful anger that destroys, Am I willing to be reconciled with the person I am angry at? Ang babala ng Panginoon, makipagkasundo ka hanggat hindi pa huli ang lahat. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God that we, His people, who have experienced His forgiveness, may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. To every prayer, our response would be, Lord, uh, Father, make us channels of Your peace. Father, make us channel of Your peace that the Church may truly become a sacrament for the world through the Ministry of Reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us channel of, of your peace. peace, that those who are rightly committed to causes of justice and human liberation may not only accuse and protest, but recognize and uproot sin in their own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, make us, make us channel, channel of, of your peace, peace, that married couples who are estranged from one another may come to forgive, understand, and appreciate one another once again. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us, us channel, channel of, of your, your peace, peace, that we may be healed of our pride and be humble enough to accept our faults and failures so that we may live peaceably with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us channel, channel of your peace, peace, that the dead may live in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father make, make us channel, channel of, of your peace. In silence, let us pray for our own particular intentions. Heavenly Father, deliver us from hardness of heart and grant that we may be always ready to seek reconciliation and heal any form of division. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, we pray to our common Father in heaven. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The replica image of our uh, of the Immaculate Conception of Malabon is at the left side when you're facing the altar. No? And it will be staying here until Monday morning. So if you may want to pray before the image, feel free to come closer. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you.